Hey there everyone, today I wanted to review this JF EGW uh, jump starter and air compressor. It's also got a light on it and a couple USB ports, 24,000 milliamp hour battery, and this one is 3,000 amps. Uh, the reason I wanted to review this is I've been looking for another jump starter uh, for my truck, and I've got this old one right here. This one's actually pretty ancient. And I'm not sure it would actually, it still works, but I'm not sure it would actually jumpstart my truck. So uh, what I wanted to do was get something new. And then these people approached me uh, about theirs and I figured it's perfect timing. So I'd review this uh, and see what, it, what it's like. Uh, now what comes in the box, I'm gonna go through what comes in the box first. And then I actually drain the battery on my truck and I've got a new battery there. I drain the battery on my truck because I want to test this and see how it's going to work. And I'll also deflate my tire and then see how long it takes to fill that back up. But it comes packaged really well uh, in this case right here, this bubble wrap case. And this is the charger itself. Uh, really small. And that's one thing that I do like about it as well. It's really small. Uh, like I said, it's got the lights over here. So if you just hit the power button and then you hit it again, it goes to SOS mode. You hit it again, it strobes. The only thing I wish this did have was the red because red is more of the hazard color, but uh, I do like that. Uh, and then up here, this is the PSI gauge. I'll show you that here in a second. But over here, it shows uh, how much charge it's got. Now, this is one thing that, that kind of bothered me too, and I will talk about that. Not a huge deal, uh, but it did kind of bother me. Uh, now, then you've got the 5 volt uh, 10 amp USB and then you've got the 2.1 over there So you've got two different ports again 24,000 milliamp hour this this right here uh, Could charge cell phones and all sorts of stuff. It's got a, a pretty big battery in it And then underneath you've got the air compressor stuff uh, in the box it comes with the the accessories and stuff you've got the the charger which you're supposed to charge uh, every two or three months just to top it off. It's got the extension for the, the tire hose. It has got the the adapter for your car so you can actually charge it while it's in the car. You don't have to bring it into the house. Pretty nice. And then it's got the brush to brush off your battery terminals. <clears throat> uh, and then the, the cables right here, which just plug into the side, which I'll show you here in a bit. Uh, so pretty decent little case uh, It does come packaged pretty well. That's why I wanted to show you that But like I was saying with the battery indicator here on the front and by the way this there is no shut off This just automatically shuts off But the battery indicator and I don't know if you can see that or not But it's basically when it says it's hundred percent That means it's between 80 and hundred percent when it's 75 it means it's 60 to 79 percent 50 percent it's between 40 and 60 percent 25% it's between um, 39% and zero. So um, that is just, you know, not a huge deal, but when it's at 80%, I want to, I want to know that it's at 80% or when it's at 39%, I don't want it to say 25%. I want it to tell me it's 39%. So I know, uh, but again, that's not a huge deal. It's just something that, um, you know, I, I, I would have expected. Uh, it also says with this, don't jump start the battery when this is under 50%. And what I did was I charged this. That's why this is already out. I charged this last night, made sure it's absolutely 100% full before I do any of this stuff. So uh, what I want to do is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go into my truck and show you that it's, it's not going to start. I've got the keys in it here. If I try to turn it over nothing you can hear the click so what we're going to do is plug this sucker in and see how it works so what i'm going to do now is move this camera up towards the front we're going to plug these in and the way you're supposed to do this is put these on the battery first and then plug them into this and then unplug this and take these off the battery so uh, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so first we've got to figure out where to put this, where it's going to go on uh, and actually fit. So these come on this side, so we're going to have to put this somewhere right about there. And we put these clamps on. Make sure you're putting the, 
the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative. Uh, see on this right here, it's got a plus sign on the red, uh, just to just to make sure. All right, so those are on there. Now on this unit, you pull this flat back and it says positive on top, negative on the bottom. Uh, and they're also different shapes, so you can actually tell there's a flat top on that one. So we'll plug that in right there. We are going to turn this sucker on. And the other good thing about this, I suppose, is that you can actually turn this light on uh, and see what you're doing right here if it's dark out. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and see how this works. See if this will actually uh, start up. Run around to the driver's seat now. It's only been on a couple seconds. I don't know how long it needs to take, but. Get more juice than we were before. And it starts up. So that actually works really well. Now what you're supposed to do is unplug it from this before you unplug it from the battery itself. Then you can unplug these. So that actually works pretty well. I, I'm pretty impressed with that. Again, this is the 3000 amp 12 volt jump starter with the air compressor. Next, we're gonna test out this air compressor. What I'm gonna do is lower the, the air in one of my tires and we'll see how long this actually takes. It says that for every 10 minutes that you run this, you're supposed to let it rest for five minutes. So we'll see how long it actually takes if I was stuck on the side of the road. Let's go ahead and move the camera one more time and we'll test that out. All right, so I've let the air out of this tire right here. Uh, it's like something you'd see, you know, if you were on the highway and you didn't want to drive on it, you'd have to use this thing. If it's completely flat, you're going to probably need something like this, which I suggest everyone have in their car, which is a patch kit, basically. It's got the plugs, and uh, if you've got a screw or a nail in your tire, you can fix that, use this to pump it up. You've got a slash, you're kind of hosed at that point. But what I want to do is, is fill this up. And the cool thing about this is on this display, you can change this to how many PSI you want it to go to. Um, Right now it's set at 41. I know my tires, 44 is the max, um, but I like to keep it a little bit lower that lower than that. So we're just gonna go to 40 right here and we're gonna see how long 40 takes. So underneath you just take this out. Uh, the extension, it looks like I'm gonna need it, or maybe not. Uh, if, the, if the stem was up here, you would probably need this extension, but I think we're just gonna go with this like this and see how it works. So I just throw that on there. And again, we're gonna test this out. So right now it's 1020. I'm gonna turn that on and we're gonna see how long it takes to get this all the way up. All right, so this has been on for about 10 minutes and I'm gonna let it sit here for another five minutes. Honestly, at this point, you could probably drive this to a gas station uh, and get it filled up. You probably should instead of using this, but I want to test this out. So I'm going to go ahead, wait the five minutes, and then I'm going to um, see if it'll fill all the way up to that 40, which is only, uh, you know, a few from here, but we'll see how long that takes. So in about a half an hour, I figure you can fill up your tire. Uh, then we'll wrap this up. I mean, you can use this for a few other things, too. I want to go over a little bit about the build quality and all that stuff as well. But let's finish this off, and then we'll we'll finish finish up. All right, so I didn't want to make you all sit through the last 10 with the air compressor running and all that, but uh, it, it did absolutely perfect. It went up to the 44, just a little bit above the 44, and it shut off. So this is pretty cool. Like I said, the, the whole power gauge... Uh, I'm not much for because it says 75% right now. Uh, how much is it really? I mean, who knows? But this thing right here is absolutely awesome because 
you can set it and if you're doing something else you forget about it you're not going to over inflate and it's going to shut off on its own that last little bit it took about seven eight minutes to do so in a half an hour you can get your uh, tire fully pumped up as far as the quality of this it's it's not bad quality it's the same quality you get with everything these days back when i was a kid my if my dad had one of these it probably had a metal case actually back then it would have been an air compressor i don't think they had these back then but um, it would have been a little bit sturdier but this is kind of what to expect with these i don't know how often i would use this i think it would be good for like riding mowers uh, wheelbarrow wheels tractors stuff like that something where it's too far to, to grab an extension cord or if you don't have an air compressor something like this would be fantastic be able to just drag it out there and use it so not just for cars but to me this is something that is absolutely essential to have in an automobile a way to jump start the car a way to inflate your tires and that patch kit that i showed you as well i think these are essentials to have in a car and what's cool is nowadays these are small enough that you know like this one right here is big and kind of big and lucky these are small enough that it's really not bad at all they range in price this one was about a hundred bucks uh there's some that i've seen that are more expensive but uh you know just get look at the reviews and all of that uh, like i said i'm pretty happy with this one i mean it did exactly what it was supposed to do the you know a few seconds after i plugged it into the battery it was ready to go it jump started it real quick um, so I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this little product right here. I'll put this away and I'll put it in my bag. It'll be useful for my tractor and a few other things too. But uh, at any rate, if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, just leave them below and we will talk to you all later.